Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the NASDAQ, look at our indexes. Um, and getting started with the NASDAQ, and you can see we've been in a downtrend uh, for the past couple months. However, we did find a bottom here at towards the end of January, but we rallied up to the 20, fell back down. We didn't make a newer low, um, but we did fall back down. We rallied to the 20, fell back down. Now here we are rallying back to the 20 again. So um, there is room to be... Um, an optimist about the market, uh, dare I say, bullish against the market again. But I also note that we did um, come to the 20, and we did actually rally above the 20, but we fell back. So the 20 is still, um, you know, resistance for the NASDAQ, and we had to be careful um, before we just go getting and jumping all bullish trades. But um, certainly there is re reason to be uh, optimistic about the market with the NASDAQ. Uh, with the Dow Jones... Uh, we've got a W pattern. We've got like, a whole bunch of W patterns here. But we're definitely, um, I've heard uh, another gentleman say that we're hammering out a bottom here. So we tried here. Nope. Tried again. Nope. Tried again. Nope. And now here we are busting higher and we came up to, um, uh, we broke the 20 yesterday and here we are sitting at the 50. So um, you can see we also have this resistance right here at 12.750. So um, the, the, that was giving us more reason to be happy, especially if we just go with this W pattern, we, we, we ha we're forming a new wave here. Um, so um, definitely like it. Uh, so let's finish off. The next is with um, the S&P. And again, here's our downtrend. And here we are hammering out a bottom. Boom, boom, boom. Definitely reason to be optimistic about that. And once get, here we are creeping our head right above <laughs> that four and a half year downtrend line but the 50 still is acting as resistance and we did this before so we'll see if we can finally break this through the thing that's important i think to note about the market today is that we had every reason to fall down we did have some negative data um but um ibm came out with like a 15 billion dollars uh stock buyback program i believe and, and the market kind of rallied off of that so that's kind of like the good old days as a friend of mine like to <laughs> likes to say um, that you know we're sh we shrug off the bad news, so that's definitely bullish that we shrugged off the bad news. Um, let's go back real quick and look at the volume. Volume was good. Volume is definitely good on all three days. So let's take a look at our flag list now um, to see if we need to uh, make any changes from the stocks that we were watching for the past couple days. So let's start off with ACI. ACI, we're waiting for a break out of this consolidation pattern, this rectangle. We did not get that. We did get a break above. Um, we did get a break out above, but we did not close above. So we're still waiting for confirmation above this um, range. CAT. Uh, we were excited about CAC because it's been a nice uptrend, and we said that if it breaks seventy-two dollars here, that it could run higher. Um, at this point, um, you can see we're kind of at another resistance here, but at this point, I would say that we need to go ahead and wait for a retracement day. Um, I like CAT, but um, we definitely bounced and moved higher, and I think at this point we do not have a safe second day entry. So I'm going to unflag it, not because I don't like it, but just because I don't think we have an entry for tomorrow. If you're in it, tighten up your stops. I do think that it, we're going to continue to go higher. CF, just one of the stocks that we like because it's been in a nice uptrend for a while. Um, had a couple down days, but for the most part, it's been an uptrend. And we said if we could get a move higher, we would have an entry. We did not. Um, but we still have a rise in three pattern going on here. So I would keep my alert here at yesterday's high around 131 for confirmation of that rising three pattern. CME, um, still sideways move, still a sideways move. Um, we were looking at it under several indicators. Um, still liking this one. We did not break the 10 exponential moving average, which is you know, not we're looking for where we were looking for this to break the 10 and head up here to the 20. So again, I, I would still use this 536 as an alert to see if we can catch a move higher because when it moves, it moves. That's for the big bank people. <laughs> uh, CNI. CMI, um, 
it's teasing us, kind of like PBR, where we're we're looking for a move, uh, looking for a breakout, and it's just hovering here right around the 50 exponential moving average. Uh, we have a manhole pattern. Um, I would go with an alert at today's high to see if it is going to continue to move higher. Or yesterday's open. Yeah, you know, $54, right around that range. $54 seems like a good alert. We're going to keep that one. See you next. Um, light ACI um, did rally out of the rectangle but fell right on back. So we're still waiting for confirmation, a close to confirm entry. I would still use six, uh, $82 as the alert. So we're going to keep that one flagged. COP, great stock. Gave us our entry um, at this level here. If you guys got in, good for you. But this um, light cat, not that we don't like the stock, but it's moved. So we definitely want to look for a retracement for our next entry. So I am going to unflag it, but not because I don't think it's going to continue to go higher, but it's not a safe entry at this point. CVX, um, although CVX is very similar, we don't have as big as candle as we do on the other one. So I'm going to leave CVX flag. I want to keep an oil stock flag, and this seems to be the one that we're going to do it. We broke the resistance. It's not as, uh, we do have, a, it's, it, I mean, the body is about a dollar, but it's not as big as COP was. COP, you can see we had a nice candle here. Uh, what is that? Almost $2, $2 $3. So I'm going to keep CVX flag. Google, Google was down big. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. Unfortunately, the the biggest part of Google's play was the gap down. And from what I understand, and of course they're saying it was leaked, but from what I understand, the Google um, the paper paper click numbers came out, and Google's numbers were flat. So um, that obviously um, did not bode well for the for the stock. I'm going to unflag it and just see what will you know. It's a part of our sector list anyway so we'll, we will see it but I'm going to unflag it as far as watching it for an entry for tomorrow it may try to fill that gap though it may try to fill that gap Georgie really didn't do anything for us so um, I would keep our alert around $70 I'll keep a flag for another day MOS gave us a, a, a classic rising three um candle here so go ahead and put a, an alert at around 117 for confirmation of that uh rising three pattern new core new core new core just a, just just a beast um normally i would say on this one to go ahead and let this one go but i'm going to say to keep uh to raise your alert to up here at the 70 dollar range because that's when we're in the blue skies, we're at an all-time high. So I'm going to keep it on our list, but not necessarily to get in tomorrow, but I want to make sure that we have an alert up here at $70. PBR, same thing as we were talking about before. It's hovering here. Um, I would go ahead and, and put an alert in the middle of here for confirmation of the next move higher. PCU, um, just again, one of the stocks that we like just because it's been moving well for us. I would keep our alert at 116. Pot gave us a classic rising three pattern here. So let's go ahead and put an alert here at the 164 50th range for confirmation of the pattern. RIG, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But like COP, I think it's moved too much. So I'm going to unflag it just because I, I don't think we have a safe entry tomorrow. SLB. Um, very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's take a look at some of the other views with this one. Uh, you can see we're coming into that 200 moving average. So, and that is just a dollar or so away. So I would not get in this one tomorrow. Looks nice, but I would not get into it tomorrow. Uh, Steel Dynamics. Us uh, holding on, holding on to this resistance level. Um, I would go with uh, the close of yesterday as an alert, maybe around $62. USO, uh, definitely keep that. Put an alert at today's high for a confirmation that the move is going to keep going higher. X, 
sort of a, a rising three pattern, I would go ahead and put an alert somewhere in the middle here to catch the next move higher. And finally, XOM, same thing. Put an alert. Well, no, this one's moved too much, so I'm going to unflag XOM. Okay, so uh, thanks, guys, uh, for our YouTube watchers.